I was making biodiesel in my backyard. I, was, uh, I would deep fry a turkey. And when you deep fry a turkey, you end up with uh, four or five gallons of waste vegetable oil. So I was turning that waste vegetable oil into biodiesel to power my tractor. Uh, we live in a, uh, you know, a world that can't sustain the species, and we need to change that. And so I would say that this project is very uh, mission-driven and sort of powered by passion. And I would say everyone who is on project is here with an intense desire to change the landscape into more sustainable behaviors. So we start with a fat. Any kind of fat is our feedstock. And we started on virgin soybean oil. We can also use waste cooking oil. Today we're running on chicken fat. What we do here at Piedmont Biofuels is we take uh, waste vegetable oil or waste fats and greases and we chemically modify that to act like diesel fuel. We take the oil or the fat and we'll heat it up and the chemical modification process is called transesterification. Vegetable oil molecule is, is an ester chemically and we change that ester to be um, a different viscosity, a thinner fuel like, and that acts like diesel fuel. Seventy-seven hundred gallons is what fits on a full-length tanker truck, and um, I would say the overwhelming majority of our customers are oil companies. I think you know the oil companies are just watching this, and when someone emerges, they'll just buy it, so they don't have to go through all the trial and error and all. Like we pay a lot of tuition around this place. I want people to think about energy differently. I want people to think. Uh, if I could improve their energy literacy so that they would think differently about where their energy comes from or maybe where their food comes from or have a different relationship to, um, to both.